Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today I want to destroy my last hope in humanity. We're gonna react to Adam from No Jumper talking about his wife Lena that now slept with another man for OnlyFans. Guys, usually we talk about religion here on this channel. However, I believe that it's of utmost importance to talk about those brand new social issues, if you will, flooding the world coming from the West. This is the new normal that they are trying to sell you. It is an absolute disgrace. A married couple on OnlyFans, first and foremost, they worked together and now the guy is pimping out his own wife. Needless to say, guys, this video won't be for children. There will be a lot of sexual content. So if this is something that you do not want to see, please skip this video and come back for the next. And now with no further ado, let's have a look. Hey guys. Guess what I'm shooting with today? <laughs> it's finally happening. <laughs> wow. It's not really finally that. happening. <laughs> I don't know what this does for you guys, but for me this is truly mind-blowing. On the left-hand side we see her as the bride, the alleged bride, and then on the right-hand side she's getting BBC. And then this absolute amplified insanity of saying, it is finally happening. What is finally happening? You're a married woman and now you're having sex with another man on camera. It's finally happening. I'm ruining my marriage. <laughs> what? We're gonna do that. <laughs> wow, she shot man. her first ever scene. Look at this. With another man. Oh. Over the weekend. That shows growth. That shows growth. That shows growth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You cannot live a like like this. It's absolutely impossible because on the left hand side, what you're portraying is a traditional marriage. What you're portraying here is a woman and a man forming a bond, ideally for life, of course, creating a family together. Little side note, yes, they do have a child. And now, on the other hand, you're filming pornography. Your wife, wife, has sex with other men. Don't you understand that you're doing this to yourself? On the one hand, you're trying to fulfill those traditional gender norms by getting married by starting a family but it doesn't mean anything this is just a picture because you do not believe in it what is marriage marriage until recently has been a sacred bond that is fulfilled under a certain religious framework which automatically excludes adultery. It means that you got married under God. It means something. It's supposed to mean something. Marriage is supposed to be the opposite of adultery. They're mutually exclusive. This is why you get married. If you want to be an adulterer, then you don't get married. That's the whole point behind it. However, if you practice adultery, you have sex with other women and your wife has sex with other men, then you're not really in a marriage. You might be in an open relationship, even that is just a construct because it is not valid under God. You are playing make-believe. I do have an announcement. I just want to break it to you guys so that you guys all know what's going on, which is basically... You're quitting on us, bro. Oh, I'm not quitting. Oh, I'm not quitting. But I'm going to tell you something that you might should. blow your mind. Be better. Right. Blow my mind then. It's early enough. After seven years with my girl, mm. this is not the breakup conversation. I really oh. might have sounded like that right there for a second. <laughs> yeah. It's After true. seven years together, we've been doing porn pretty much the whole time, but we've gotten more and more deeper into the conversation or into the, the porn stuff. And mm -hmm. after, you know, many hundreds and hundreds of threesomes and stuff, yeah. I decided, well, we decided, we've been having this conversation for like damn near a year. We decided. She shot her first ever scene without you with another man ah, over the weekend. This that hurts me, growth. man. That shows God. What bro, kind of growth? I'm saying that you, you don't have it in, in you to disagree with me. So th I'm going to use this as an example. Tell me how you really feel. Uh, man, this is not my wife. This guy is not my brother, not even my friend. I don't even know him, but I have to cringe so hard. It is so extremely repulsive to listen to this. She shot her first ever scene without you with another man. I can't believe I have to explain this. The man is the leader of the household. Hence, he is the leader of the wife. Wherever the man goes, the wife ideally follows. So if this man had the glorious idea to shoot pornography with his own wife, to expose his wife to the world to see, obviously this becomes a slippery slope. It is a barrel without a bottom and therefore they gradually progress. This is truly how it works with anything. If you gradually progress, 
progress into a healthy diet, guess what? In a few years, you will be in great shape. If you gradually progress into eating junk food in a few years, you will be a fat slob. If you gradually progress in becoming promiscuous with your wife and you are leading her into this degeneracy, your wife will follow. Listen, wow. <laughs> for the month. You don't want to hear what I'm talking about for the money, young. I, I'm gonna tell him for the garden. money, young. Yeah, I disagree. What? I can disagree money? with Adam if he told a lie. Like you, you try to stay away from bullshit on the podcast. Mm. It's like, all right, how I really feel is that I need my girl to go out and shoot a motherfucking porno solo scene so she can bring that bag back home. This is a business, nigga. Mm -hmm. This it, is to, business. To me, it was kind of like. The reality is, is that her career has been, you know, helped by me for sure, but also held back by me to a certain extent because of the fact that we would only shoot together. And take a man to realize that shit. The, the yeah. number one thing that are you guys mentally ill, man? Yes, you are. It takes a man to realize this. I've been holding back my wife's career. What are you even talking about, man? You have the channel No Jumper. So on Social Blade, we can see, and this is probably very conservative, that he might be earning roughly 600k per year just from the channel alone. We're not talking about affiliates. We're not talking about sponsorship deals. We're not talking about products, about courses. We're just talking. About about the ad revenue and moreover as they said already they've been doing only fans together so no matter how you look at it those guys are already millionaires so the real question is if you're already wealthy why does your wife need to progress her career she gets asked what? If she gets requested whatever is they want to see her shoot with another guy and you know we've kind of had the conversation over the years and and i started to come to this realization that realization. the reason why Epiphany. i didn't want her to do it was not because of my own personal jealousy or anything like that it was really just the fact that i didn't want to be the guy who got roasted on the internet that week you know I yeah so first and foremost now you are getting roasted on the internet but the question is of course why don't you have the jealousy for your wife that simply shows that you do not care in islam we call this a day of somebody that does not have enough jealousy for his wife and my explanation to this is very very simple as i said already you guys have a fake marriage you do not have a real marriage in a real marriage you do not have sex with multiple other people but moreover ideally in a perfect world your wife would have been a virgin which she surely was not and this is why you look down onto your woman consciously or unconsciously you look down on her and this is why you did not care to further defile her you took her brought her into the porn business and had sex with her on camera with multiple other women you had threesomes call it what you will you do not cherish your wife you do not respect your wife and and you do not respect yourself either. You look at yourself just as a filthy animal. This is the reality of things. If you realize it or not, you're talking about you having a realization. You didn't get anything. The real realization would be you understanding that you do not respect your woman whatsoever. You look at her like dirt, like dirt that can be exposed naked to the internet whilst having sex. And this is why you lost your jealousy. And this is why you don't care your wife getting BBC. The one that everybody yeah. was making Feed videos about, about whatever. And I slowly started to feel like that's kind of a stupid reason for me to yeah. hold her back from doing something that would realistically be very, very good for her career you know right. because the truth is is wow. that the guy that she shot with is somebody that i'm very cool and this is why yet again we need islam we need to return to strong men to strong male leadership but people nowadays don't understand what a strong man is plenty of teenagers will think that this guy is a strong man because he has sex with hundreds of women on camera what a hero but this guy is an absolutely pathetic joke it is repulsive to see this in Islam, the man provides for the woman. And dude, you have provided enough. You have a successful YouTube channel. You can feed your family. You can live a very, very good, wealthy life. But it is not enough. And now you're thinking about the career of your woman. Don't you understand that those are man-made concepts? They do not exist at all in reality. In reality, what is happening? If you subtract the money, if you subtract the cameras, if you take the internet off it all, you simply see your wife. Wife, 
cheating on you. This is what is really happening, but you guys don't understand it. In the West, you label everything. I am LGBTQ, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I am liberal. I am conservative. I have an OnlyFans. Don't you understand that you're simply trying to put things into boxes to make them fit, but the reality is you're lying to yourself. Yet again, if you remove those labels, what is truly happening is you and your wife again, wife, got married, you got children. And now instead of living a wholesome family life, you guys decide to have sex with other people. And this further progresses then into your wife having sex with another man. This is the reality of things. And this is what is eating you up from the inside. Now you're justifying it. Now you're coming up with new labels. Oh, it is her career. No, it is not. It is your wife having sex with another man. I totally started to feel like that's kind of a stupid reason for me to hold her back from doing something that would realistically be very, very good for her career, you know? Right. Because very, the very truth good. is, is that the guy that she shot with is somebody that I'm very cool with, that I spent time around, I trust him. I, she when she went off to go do this shit, it didn't, you know, I wasn't like hurting inside and you just knowing man. that she was doing, no, yeah. no, no, I stay home. I'm not, See, I'm not being the driver. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not watching <laughs> or being the driver though, but at the end wow, of the day, bro, man. like- It I, is really like looking at a dead person. There is no soul inside. I said, Nothing I'm left. pretty sure Sharp got the same thing to say as me about that. I don't know. Sharp's a little more misogynistic Sharp, than me, you. Let's what, hear it, Sharp. What, 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 what do you think it? when you hear this? Misogynistic. Like so it is misogynistic if you don't want your wife to have sex with other men. This is what we achieved in 2023. Thank you very much, America. More misogynistic Sharp, than me, you. Let's what, hear it, Sharp. What, what do you think it? when you hear this? <clears throat> I look at it like this, man. You understand. And I'm just going to be transparent. Both of y'all, time's ticking. You only got so much time in this industry. The porn star industry is like a good haircut. You could be here today looking good, gone tomorrow, and it's just over. Mm. You know what I mean? So I feel like do it and capitalize off it now while you have the chance to capitalize on it and don't wait until oh, shit man. starts to fall in an all-time low to say, okay, we'll finally do it. Mm. You got to hit it while it's high. Yeah. You know what I'm His saying? His wife already looks like she's in her 30s, so her prime has already passed. So, of course, she doesn't have many years left, but what does that mean? Yet again, I don't understand. Am I too naive for this brand new world here? This woman is already in her 30s. Now she tries to capitalize and have sex with random dudes to get more money. As I stated previously, those people have enough money for everything they need. Why would she need to make more money? And think about it logically, man. Then the time time runs out. Now you're in your 40s and you both cannot perform sexually on camera anymore because of your looks, because of whatever. And now you're sitting there, your children grew up and they know what their parents did. In school, they're getting bullied. And moreover, maybe God will give you some eyes to see and you will realize what you have done. And now you're simply sitting on a little bit more money than you could have had. We're not talking about people that are completely broke, people that are living on the streets, people that need to do this for survival. No, man, you're already comfortable. You're sitting in a podcast studio. You're having a studio around. You have people around you. You have a successful business. So nobody needs to do this. Don't you understand? I'm looking at Why do you business. do this to yourself? Well, I'm already yeah. married, bro. That's your chick. She yeah. ain't going, going where no way. Where where baby. She gonna cry yeah. talking about what, you, what are you talking about? You're leaving. But that's part of that it too, is that we it. already know that we're going to probably have like another couple kids and that this is just kind of like her exactly. doing Don't. what she can to make her OnlyFans go fucking crazy yeah. in the meantime, in the lead up to her basically exiting the game in a couple of years, yeah. you know? Yeah. And that's why uh, I didn't really want to be the one holding their back. And she, we even had that conversation, like we, even up to the moment. Wow, this is so repulsive. This is why I totally disagree when people say money is the root of all evil. First and foremost, I come from a Christian background. It's not money is the root of all evil, but the love of money is the root of all evil. But even there, I disagree because as I said 10,000 times, those people have money and they already had successful OnlyFans. So now they're trying to make this OnlyFans explode. This is not about the money. Those people chase an arbitrary goal. It is not existent. Do you really believe? 
believe that 10 million will make you happier than 5 million? Of course not. It is an arbitrary number. And this is why the devil is in the details. Of course, all of this is extremely demonic. People do not truly chase happiness anymore. They chase numbers, they chase clicks, and they believe that this will somehow give them a happy life. A happy life is found in normality. And this is not normal. Normality is having a partner that you love, having children with that partner that you love, respecting that partner, protecting that partner. And protecting that partner as a man means that no other man shall see your wife naked, first and foremost. But with Islam, we of course go further. We are so protective of our women that we don't want any other strange man to see her with little clothing even. Do you understand? understand this how much we respect our women moreover we as muslim men are commanded to lower our gaze we are not even allowed to look at clothed women we're not allowed to shake their hands but look what you guys are doing you have no boundaries you have no respect you do not care about anything anymore no you're not only looking at other women no you're not only shaking their hand but you are having sex with other women and now it all comes around now your wife starts having sex with other men. Congratulations, you destroyed your life and your children's life. Yo, this is repulsive. She was telling me, like, listen, wow. I'll not do it if you don't want me to do it. If it's going to hurt she you, she told you. It's, if it's going to bum you out, ever. then, like, if it's going to really, like, make you sad and it's going to hurt your feelings, then I won't do it. And I told her, like, just go do it. Just yeah. go do it. Because, and, and when wow. I told her, I said, All right, I got three rules. Don't kiss the motherfucker. Mm, period. Don't let him know on your period. face. Period. Yeah. Man, the IQ in this room combined is maybe 30. Don't kiss the guy. Yeah, word. Mm -hmm. Your wife got penetrated by another man. Now you care about a kiss? Period. Don't let him nut on your face. Oh, yeah. No money shit. And oh, wow, don't let him nut on your face. But yet again, putting his pee pee into her vajayjay is totally all right. Don't want to feel like I have to be cool with you doing it over and over and over after this. I'm like, if if we if I can't handle it I won't, and it's going to be a one and done, then I want to have the right to kind of. Uh, what if this like makes a I want to have yet. the right, man. She already asked you for leadership. Don't you understand? She asked you, hey, please make the decision. Be the man for once, Adam. Please tell me what I'm supposed to do here. Is it the right decision for me to have sex with another man, Adam? Can you please tell me? And you told her, yes, it is all right. Go ahead, wife. Have sex with a random stranger. It's bad. You failed it as will. a man. Like it's a <laughs> weak, pathetic yes, men. It's oh my to, gosh. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, we have to still leave it the what ifs yeah. first. You know what I'm saying? We know this already. Yeah. I don't want to jump the gun. But okay, let's say it. Fuck it. Let's jump it. And this is the best. How can you here wear a cross necklace? How are you a Christian agreeing with this degeneracy? This is why Christianity doesn't stand for anything nowadays. This shit's about to make fucking a crazy, ridiculous amount They'll of money. They'll probably make it. Nah, I don't want to say that number, but yeah. it'll, it'll be a significant I, in amount. My, in my mind, I it think It will I be a significant amount. Too. You're a pimp. You're pimping out your wife. It will make a significant amount that your wife slept with another man. <laughs> they don't understand what they're saying. Because, I mean, she could go shoot it with a professional studio, but she knows that if she just shoots it for her own shit, that she good. She's, she's, she's about to be good, bro. Yeah. She she's, might pass you in, in breadwinner. Because we had that conversation, she too, might. where she said, I don't know about that, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you that's one of the things she said to me. She's like, your shit is diversified. Like, you got a bunch of different income streams that are that's, doing what they're doing. There you go. She's like, I got this one thing and then plug talk. And the reality is, Let me talk to you. is that if, uh, where was I going with this? If The reality is, is that she said, like, would you rather I not do this and you kind of like pay for you know more of the stuff because we're 50 50 on everything yeah right? exactly like, more that's what she's asking you she's asking you hey would you be good me not having to do this and therefore you just keep on paying guess what adam this is what a husband does i pay for everything for my wife man i pay for rent i pay for food i pay for my children i pay for literally everything my wife doesn't need an income this is what men do Woohoo! Why do I need to explain this? What is going on? Like, Why are you so mentally 50 -50. ill? And she's like, do you want to like, like, would you rather have me just fall back on the porn stuff and just be a mom and we could just do that? Or would you rather? How does this sentence exist?
Would you like me to do porn and be a mom? How does this work, man? What is wrong with the West? Me. This is so satanic. Dip my toe into doing ah. this shit a little bit more seriously. I told her, I'm I'm okay with it. Like I want I want to at least give it a try. I want to see if I can handle it. I want to see if it bothers me knowing that that shit's out there. I don't plan on sitting down and watching. But don't you understand that if it bothers you, which by the way, it should, then it is already out there and it is done. It is not only that your wife cheated on you, but moreover, she filmed it and the whole world saw it. You have a huge following. Everybody saw your wife being blacked. Everybody saw it. Don't you understand? So now if you have regrets, it is already done and you will have to live with this why don't people have a little bit of foresight from the full half hour what's scene going on whatever. if it did bother you then what what was your plan then See, yeah it, that's wow. why what i was question. a little surprised that after she did it it was like giving me a little bit of the bubble guts like a little bit of the sure, oh, i'm not 100 yeah. sure yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, just yeah, that yeah, feeling yeah, but yeah. to be fair like she told me the same exact thing where the, the first time that she yeah i know it's like the first time you catch a body right yeah. like it's, it's, well i, I hear oh, uh, I <laughs> it's a little bit something to stomach no but she she told me like or that the first time she You're saw destroyed. me fucking another girl in front of her it was hell she was going through it like it was it was tough for her to watch me do that because she was so in love with me the first time she saw me fuck another girl in front of her exactly. and now having done it hundreds of times it's kind of whatever it's not really hitting the same where she yes i rest my case you guys desensitized yourself as i mentioned previously you already did not respect your wife otherwise you wouldn't have done porn with her and now at first she adam really loved you Okay, that's actually quite heartbreaking. She truly did love you. She did trust you. And when she saw you having sex with another woman, she naturally, there was still some nature left in her, got jealous. She didn't want this. But you guys progressed. And you, as the leader, you pushed it further. You kept on going. And therefore, she got numb. Something died inside of her. You are responsible for this. And now you destroy yourself even further. You kill everything human of inside of you you still feel something when your wife has sex with another man or oh, surprise i felt something today but the devil inside you want you adam to be numb to the situation to accept this as a normality this is totally normal nothing to see here just my wife having sex with another man and this is why you're gonna progress you're gonna progress with her and she's gonna have sex with other men again possibly a threesome with other guys just keep on progressing this is what the progressive west does anyways we have to further progress until the trannies are dancing in the kindergarten and all our wives are whores but this is an absolute fascinating case study of leadership you absolutely failed as a man really bother you know well, so i have now talked about this from time to time I haven't, but this definitely kind of like opens the door to that more where, but, but see, all right, this is the thing too, is that I, if I'm going to shoot with other girls, it's not like I'm going to shoot with like other girls that she doesn't know or whatever. Cause me and her are in the same category. We don't trust girls. Like we shot without her. I have a couple of times. Yeah. But like not. We haven't like really made a thing out. I don't have my own OnlyFans, and there is definitely a possibility. Like when we're doing the panels and shit like that, there's definitely been girls where I knew that I could be like, "Hey, you tested? I'm tested. Like we could just go film something right now, and maybe I could just drop it on the Plug Talk uh, DMs or whatever, and make yeah. X amount of dollars." But I'm kind of in the same situation that she's in, where neither of us wants to. This is how meaningless sex has become. Back mm -hmm. in the day, you would have to get married. You would get ideally a virgin. It would mean something. It would mean that now we're creating a family that will bring us children. We're creating a legacy together. But now you simply ask her, do you want to shoot now? End up in a situation where one of these girls could say something about me. You know, like the best insurance policy that we got is that we always shoot together. So no, no girl could really say, hey, hey that's Real you did this this and this which is like always the biggest worry because realistically like a lot of the girls in porn are mad cool but then you got like five or ten percent of them who are just fucking buck nutty and would just do whatever for the cloud or the attention or whatever so i mean yeah i just wanted to throw it out there so you guys could know that's coming well they gotta be tested no matter what yeah, yeah, that yeah, shit's yeah. about to blow how can you prove that congratulations bro the they gotta bring that <laughs> yellow slip. So I give that to you. Bring the paperwork. You gotta be are. tested. Congratulations on being a pimp. You gotta get there's there's, a, there's like two is. clinics in LA that you have to be tested by, and it goes in the system. And so every single time before we shoot something, we just send our tests over to each other, and they're up to date and everything. So yeah. is it on my chart? 
No, I don't know what that is, but no. All right, and to prove my point, I actually found a clip where Adam is talking about their income. Can we talk numbers at all in terms of like income? Are you comfortable sharing any of that? Sure, I don't care. What is it? What is the whole brand make in in a month or in a year? I mean, no jumper might bring in a million a month. Wow. And then plug Holy talk, crap. not quite as much, but in the ballpark arena of that. How? how yeah, where's it? How we do that. Jeff? Yeah, you got to consult us on the. Jeez. Is it sponsorship revenue? Not really. That that's how we would get to two million a month is if we had a fucking what? barstool sports type ad sales team really yeah. blanking on our shit and ads. No, I mean a big part of it's Patreon. You know, we have a Patreon that does six figures a month. We Facebook has been insane. We're making a couple hundred grand a month on Facebook. YouTube does good. All right, guys, and this is it for today's absolutely frustrating, demoralizing video. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but anyways, in the end, you saw that those people make millions per month. They make multiple millions of dollars per month. This was set without the OnlyFans. So the OnlyFans brings in even additional money, but all of this is apparently not enough. They are starving. So now my wife has to have sex with other men. I pretty much said everything I needed to say throughout the video. I want to remind every single one of you that this society is absolutely lost without God. It would be easy to say, hey, Westerners, hey, Americans, just return to Christianity. Maybe this will lead you to God. But obviously it won't. This experiment has already failed. We saw a Christian sitting on the table there with his cross necklace discussing pornography, smoking weed, not caring about anything. They are being happy about the bag. Even congratulating the guy that he made money through prostituting his wife. Christianity utterly lost. The West is absolutely fallen. And the only way to return to God is Islam. Why? Because Islam is the only religion that is purely monotheistic and moreover comes with a godly law. A godly law, a godly guidance that we can follow. Everything they discussed here would not happen within an Islamic society. None of it would be possible. Pornography, absolutely unthinkable. Adultery, punishable by law. You would never come to the conclusion that you will film yourself and expose your sins to the world. But this is the missing link here. People do not see this as a sin anymore. They see this as normal. And it is exactly like the frog example. I'm sure everybody has heard it by now. If you take a frog and you throw it into boiling water, it will jump out right away. However, if you sit a frog in warm water and then you slowly heat it up, the frog starts boiling without realizing it. This is how you kill a frog, but this is how you kill a society as well, slowly progressing. And this is why the liberals call themselves progressives. But where are we progressing to? Human rights, women rights, animal rights, gender rights. It is just progressing for the sake of progress, just like the frog example. We're just going to progress the heat until the frog dies. What is the purpose of this progress. All of those rules are man-made. All of those rules are delusions. As I already said, OnlyFans is just a digital format. You call it OnlyFans. Back in the day, you would call it prostitution. But even that is all just a scam. The reality of things is you should have been in a holy matrimony, right? Which you're not. There is nothing holy about you guys. But this, at least in the beginning stage, was the reality of you two guys. You wanted to start a family and then you defiled your woman. You disgraced her by having sex with other women in front of her. <laughs> it's absolutely unbelievable, man. And you got away with it, you little shaitan. You did it, right? You traumatized your woman even further. And now she doesn't care anymore. After years of you having sex with other women with her, she does not care anymore. She's even thinking that it is logical and a possibility to be a porn star and a mom. This is a reality for you guys now. Don't you see how far gone you are? This mental illness, this spiritual sickness, even in you has progressed so far you can't even return anymore and now you're sitting there absolutely blasé not caring about your wife having a career aka being smashed by another man 
All right, guys, and I'm going to cut it off here because I could ramble on forever, but the points have been made. If you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, no, we're not making millions per month, then check out the links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.